Giant Kodo moment. User of Archetype Pokemon, Stockton. All right, Challenger. It's not often, but many trainers. But some trainers managed to come and challenge me, but they all have been bo been boring. They all have been boring battles. I don't break a sweat beating them. Sigh, I am Falk I'm Falconer, the gym leader. They say I am I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but anyways, I best I I guess we'd better get this get this done. I hope you're the trainer though, who'll make me remember how fun it is to battle. You got it, Falconer. That's my job. Okay, Falconer. <laughs> Let's take you on. He has four Pokemon, we have six, okay. Cool. Okay, he starts off with Raichu level 46, okay. So I'm gonna go for an earthquake. I'm gonna go for a quick break, okay. So at least do half on Drago, I'm guessing. Cause his team okay, wow, not even half. Okay. I should have more faith in myself. Jeez. Let's just do this again. Uh, let's just see if we can hit him with Earthquake. Um, yeah, there we go. And one hit KO, nice. So there goes Raichu. I think he's gonna send us Octoi next because it has the type advantage on. Well, not really type advantage, but he might have Ice Beam or something, but I doubt it. Maybe, I don't know. So, well, Octoi, we'll switch Pokemon. Yes, we'll go to Rose. Now, Octoi is water type Pokemon, obviously. It evolves from Remoraid, which I don't know. Well, Remoraid evolves into Octoi, so a fish evolves into an octopus kind of thing. It's kind of weird, but, you know, since there's very few electric type Pokemon in Sinnoh, he, ha he has like an Ambipom, and uh, the evolve from an Apom, and an Octoi. And he has also his luck, he has also has his Lux Ray, too, which we'll see later on in the battle, hopefully. So I'm gonna get for the, the Giga Drain. It'll, I'm hoping I'll just do half, but I do have the type advantage right here, so I might do more. Yeah, do more. Okay. So he's gonna probably heal. So yeah, he's gonna go for the Bolt Seed. Okay. Uh, he's probably gonna use a Hyper Potion, but I'll just hit him hard with another Giga Drain. So that's okay. On um, Bolt Seed's still hitting us three times now. It's gonna hit three times, right? Yeah, okay. It's not very effective though. It's, it's like quad resistant. Yeah, yeah. I think Rose quad resistant because it's Rose is grass and poison type, so they should quad resist it, I guess, because grass isn't effective against grass. So yeah, let's go for the Giga Drain. Yeah, it's gonna go for the Hyper Potion. I knew it. But at least now we can hit him hard with another Giga Drain. Maybe I can get a cool look ahead this time. We'll see. See how much this does. It probably is gonna do the same amount regardless. Oh uh, yeah, a little bit more, but yeah. I'd rather him using his healing items right now. I want to and Rose restored all the remainder of her HP. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. It hits. Okay, cool. I'm really glad I turned to, to uh to hard um Rose Shadow Ball because it really helped in that school kid battle with the um with the Kadabra or whatever or whatever trainer had the Kadabras or a Kadabra in this gym. Yeah. Ambipom, okay. So we'll switch to another Pokemon. We'll switch to Inferno. Yeah, Inferno's just got a close combat this thing. So Ambipom's like level 46, right? Somewhere in there. Level 47, okay. Let's go for the close combat. This should one hit kill it, but you never know. It's two levels higher than Inferno, so I shouldn't speak too soon. And there we go, knocks it out though. Cool. Yeah, Inferno. It's defense and special defense got lowered a bit, but I'm gonna switch out anyway, so it doesn't matter. So it's stats will be restored if I do need them in the future for the rest of this battle. Here's what looks right. His main Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna go back to Drago and just try to earthquake it. It probably won't take more than just. It'll probably take a little bit more than just one earthquake to faint it. Maybe a different combination of moves, but. This thing's like level 49, maybe even level 50, I can't even remember. This one's, yeah, level 49. Here it comes, get ready for my trump card. Okay. Let's go for the earthquake. And I'm faster than it for some reason, I don't know how I'm faster, how oh, Drago's faster than it, jeez. Um, we can hope that this faints it, but I don't think it will. Yeah, okay. And it has its citrus berry, okay. That's all good with me. I can just use another earthquake then. 
Let's see, Luxray is gonna do Crunch though. Okay. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Now if I'm faster than it, it's we win. Okay, cool. And it hits awesome with quick hits. So this should faint the um Luxray. And it goes down, awesome. Two thousand thirty some experience points, that's a lot of experience points. Jeez. You just beat me you just beat me or I don't know. Your desire and noble weight. i I never felt thrilled during our this was a very good battle. That's all I could read really. Thanks for five thousand eight hundred and eighty poke dollars though. Hee hee ha that was the most fun I've ever had in a battle since I don't even know when. It's almost it's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your 8th gym badge, you've earned this. You get the beacon badge from Faulkner. Beacon badge lets you use the hidden move waterfall even when you're not in battle. Waterfall happens to be key if you go into the Pokemon League. Also, because you've collected all 8 gym badges, 8 badges, any Pokemon at any level will be you without fail. I want you to have this too. TM57 Charge Beam, which I'm kind of considering maybe teaching to Bronze, but I'm not sure yet. I'll, I'll think about it later, I guess, when we go back to when get to our TMs and select them and all that. When we can actually use our bag or access our bag. What's inside that TM57 is Smooth Charge Beam. It may raise special attack if it lands. It's pretty hot. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna make our way out uh, to the front of the gym and talk to the vice giver one more time and check out the statue for this gym one more time. See, uh, see our name on the certified trainers list, along with Sam's probably, because Sam just always happens to be at the gym right before us, so or before us, you know? But that's okay, it's really easy to get out. All you have to do is like, move around some, press some switches and move around, and then uh, you should be out, you, you should be out on your way. And it's really easy to get to the back to the front of the gym again. Oh, Steven, did you beat the gym leader? Well, of course you did. Well, uh, <laughs> sorry, I misread that. But you know what? You haven't made it in my mind yet. Um, do you know why? Because you and your Pokemon are capable of achieving so much more. But I am proud of you. Uh, itch and badges. Way to go, kiddo. Thank you, advice giver. Sign for a shitty Pokemon gym. Leader Volkner. Certified trainer Steven. Oh, I even beat the gym before Sam. It just says Steven. Awesome. It's a happy day. Okay, so let me see about that TM now. Because I am thinking about teaching Charge Beam to, um, you know, Bronze, because he's the only one who can learn it. And it's, my, it's gonna be actually my first Ultra type move I can actually have on my team. But I don't know if I want to teach it or not. I wish I should be forgotten. Um, try a ball. Wait, hold on. Let me see here. Um, the user tackles the foe with high speed spinner. The slower the user, the greater the damage. Oh yeah, and as you can see, uh, well I can't see here, but bronze is pretty slow. And then payback's really good because it automatically doubles to 100 power, 100 base power. Because it always it's slower than the other Pokemon. Extra sensory is still good too. Uh, I'm gonna skip it on teaching charge beam. I don't think I really need it. So I'm just gonna skip out on it. I don't need ultra type Pokemon. I've uh, ultra type move at least. Um, I've gone through the whole game without really ha needing an ultra type or really wanting one so bad. Or I've I've just been I've been you know good. I don't need an ultra type move right now. Of course not. Especially since it's the end of the game. I know how. I know what I'm. What what my power is with my Pokemon and all that. So I'm gonna uh, heal up. Okay. So let me rearrange my Pokemon. I didn't mean to go back to my bag, sorry. Um, yeah, so... I guess I can move Bronze up to the front. And then Drago and Jetta can switch places too. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, let's continue on with the story. Um, although I'm gonna cut the part, end the part soon, but I just wanna do this one last part. Here is Jasmine. Well, spoiler alert, sorry. I'll probably spoil over text over way. Um, if you guys didn't know. Um, er, um, my, my name is Jasmine. I'm a gym, I'm a gym leader. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, not the gym leader of this town. I'm the gym leader of, of in the Johto region. Uh, er, um, it, it would be nice if you knew about the Johto region. Oh, well, that's this town's gym badge. You must be very good. Or, er, um, please take this. I think that's what the last part of dialogue was. Which is HMO7 Waterfall. That's a hidden, machi hidden machine. It contains a waterfall. If you use it, you can get to the Pokemon League. Oh, um, um, I, I don't know. 
how to say this, but good luck. Thanks, Jasmine. So I'm going to teach that to, um, you know, I'm going to teach that to Jetta right now. Because Jetta's final moveset will be, well, we'll see that about that in a second, but I'm going to teach uh, Waterfall to Jetta first. Which move should be forgotten? Yes, okay. What move? Um, let's get rid of Water Pulse. And yeah, we don't need Water Pulse anymore. So, um, Jetta's final moveset will be, um, Waterfall, Crunch, Ice Boom, and Surf. So, yeah. So, that's very cool. So, yeah, this has been then my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guy part. The next part will take on, uh, Whatever water route this is, I think it may have said, but um, maybe it's still in Sunny Shore City. But yeah, whatever this route's called, this little um, water route, it's right before the Pokemon League, or I should say Victory Road. So this has been Janko again, I'm about to thank you again, goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide. One last thing I forgot to show before we actually end off the part for real is I forgot to show off the badges. So like I think when you get HM badges, you don't they won't be all rusty and stuff. They'll actually be decently cleaned. But let me make them all shiny for you guys. I mean, yeah, there we go. Gotta make it all shiny. So yeah, these badges are gonna look really cool, shiny. And there you go. Look at all the badges. They're all shiny. We got all eight badges. So that's really cool.